or get a become a little hypoxic every day or three times a week. What I mean by that, go work out until your tissues run out of oxygen. Right. That will actually strengthen every mechanism in your body. Which is basically HIT, right? Um, yeah. High intensity interval training. Yeah, or no, even lifting weights until you run out of oxygen, until your ATP production is shot. Um, um, hermetic stress. Hermetic stress is just a small amount of acute stress to the body can be extremely healthy, but overexposure, it can be toxic. Yeah. Underexposure didn't have any effect. Okay. So very important to have uh, some hormesis um, throughout your day. So for example, the way we get hormetic stress that I try to do as much as I can, and I haven't done it like in two months, I was going weekly to uh, ice bath, three minutes mm -hmm. under ice cold water. Which is not it's... fun. <laughs> Um, the other one was wait, for, it was hormesis, hormesis, hypoxia, biogenesis, that biogenesis. mitochondrial bio, no, sorry, mitochondrial biogenesis. Yeah. Do whatever you can to improve the mitochondria in order to uh improve your longevity. And what was my other one? And these are new senescence. Oh, senescent, senescent cells, yeah. yes. So the senescent cells, obviously, we know are cells that lose their ability to take instructions. So we want to improve as much. That's why when, when people tell me, what, what do we do for a living? I'm, I've got to a point, I'm like, we don't do hormone optimization. We do cellular optimization therapy because what we're trying to do is improve the cell function of the body to perform more like a mid 20 year old for the rest of your life. Yeah. The way you can do that is a combination of, you know, hormone therapy, peptide therapy, metformin, supplements. you know, supplements, red light, there's, it's not just medication itself. Like people have to start seeing medication. Like looking into the sun is medication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stepping on the ground, bare feet and getting those negative electron charges to my body yeah. is medication. Every medication comes from nature. Yeah. So improving senescence in our body and reducing senescent cells, uh, which is called uh, immunosenescence. When your body for decades takes a pound it gets to a point that it loses the ability to take instruction, and that's what leads to uh, entropy. Right. Um, so, yeah, cellular senescence, mitochondrial biogenesis to elongate life as much as we can and to be 100% present in our day, neurologically, metabolically, immunologically, become hypoxic by exercising and um, expose yourself to hormetic stress. Now, see hormetic stress like a nice little curve. It's the same thing as, look, it's funny. It's the same thing as what nature does. This is another graph I wanted to show you. That's what happens. So when I eat, I'll plug in how much grams of carbs I had just so I get an idea. And I'll, I'll measure it in intervals of 20 minutes for two hours pulse prandial, prandial to see my sugar response. Same thing. The hormetic stress graphs looks just like that. We want to get right in that gap in the middle, which is called rejuvenance hormetic stress, which is rejuvenating the tissues. It's actually making you stronger. So you have to understand how to gauge and how to practice these methodologies in order to maximize your life. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a paradigm shift, right? It, it first yeah. starts with your body and testosterone optimization and then... But as you start scratching the surface and digging deeper and deeper, optimization becomes this whole body experience, this whole yeah. being experience. It's not just your body, it's your emotions, it's your, it's your spirituality, it's your you know, cognitive function, which affects everything in your life, right? And so when we're talking about optimization, one of the things that he was saying is like, I don't even tell people that we do hormone optimization, we do cellular optimization. That's how we started this conversation, right? That you are just a, a makeup of trillions of cells, right? So it just, it's common sense that the healthier the state of your cells are, that is gonna be reflected hourly. And the, the, the better that your health is gonna be and the better that you're going to feel, yeah. right? Like for example, like we feel ourselves. It's just that people don't have that connection yet. Like when you get that hunger response that, you know, have you ever heard, oh, I'm so hungry. I feel like I'm gonna die. That's because your cells are saying, hey, feed me. Your cells are responsible for pumping your heart. That's a ghrelin spike. Yeah. That's why they call it ghrelin. The... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to eat. I'm going to die. But the, <laughs> the point is your cells are responsible. For one, just one of their jobs is to pump your heart a hundred thousand times a day without you even noticing. Pumping right? over 120 so, gallons per hour. 
So it's when they get problem. hungry, they say, hey, feed me because I'm dying. I need to keep you alive. And so the, the more that we take care of our cellular health, it's mitochondria thing. You know, again, we don't want to sound like people with tinfoil hats, but it's, it's true. And you get to experience what's called living health. And when people feel that, it changes the game. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it takes, it takes to feel that to get there, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we encourage everyone watching that when we talk about this stuff, I know that it sounds crazy and it's too detailed and everything, but when you feel the power of cellular um, optimization, it changes your life and it changes everybody else's life around you, which is the point and why we do this. Yeah. Uh, well, one that I can personally talk about that I didn't add on there another alternative that's completely natural and that has shown that you can stimulate a reduction of blood pressure, um, reduction of many different meds that I can't remember right now, but literally the studies behind meditation, which meditation just simply means to become familiar with. Conscious. Become familiar with what? Familiar with your natural state of being, which is when you are just literally, because I did something called Vipassana, a 10 day meditation retreat where you can't talk nor look at anybody. I did it twice and I still don't understand much of it um, <laughs> where what I did, the, the, the few things that I did learn is that when you literally close your eyes and you just focus on the breath coming in, breath coming out, and you literally keep your attention there for five to 10 minutes, you will notice what homeostasis feels like. Your body will, if your cortisol is up, you can bring down your cortisol levels faster than anything else. If you're in the sympathetic fight or flight system, you can go into the parasympathetic nervous system really fast, really fast by practicing these modalities. So I'm a type A personality. I'm very go, 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 go. And I tend to spin my wheels. It's rather than finding that balance. For me, that balance has really worked through meditation. Because when you're a type of personality, go-getter, and you're constantly pushing, 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 you're engaging what? The sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight system. The mm. problem is if you over-engage it too much, if you live what there. I say, exactly. If you live there, what I say about hormetic stress, too much of it is the problem. If you're activating that fight or flight response, it's going to get to a point that it's going to kill you. It can literally destroy your arterial, your arterial walls. It can destroy you through the impact of high cortisol levels, which will eventually cause adrenal fatigue and a hundred other issues. So when and there's no medication to help you with that, nothing. So kind of like what I like to explain, if you're in the fight or flight mode, I mean, there's a lion in front of me. I don't have time to digest my food. I don't have time to try to find peace. I have time to run or fight this thing. That's just what the sympathetic nervous system is. It's your survival response. The parasympathetic is your recovery, regenerative, um, um, re-stimulating and, and bringing you back to your natural state, which is calm. So I see that today we're overstimulating our sympathetic nervous system from being drown drowning in information we have, we're trying to just constant keep up. dopamine hits keep from Instagram and, and everything. Facebook we're, and all this stuff. Man. Blue light spectrum hitting our eyes, not being cautious that these lights, remember what I said about when you wake up, you go from Mela, Mela wakes you up, Sarah, Sarah, put, I mean, Mela puts you asleep, Sarah wakes you up. So you got to convert melatonin to your ser serotonin, but that metabolite at night through your pineal gland has to go back to melatonin. So if you're getting blue light spectrum and you're stressed out and you're reading a hundred emails and you're constantly going, going, going and eating sugar and drinking coffee to, to, Oh, let me drink my Red Bull, my monster, my, which has like 120 grams of sugar. That should be illegal. You know? <laughs> um, and what else? Look, look at these things. The, the, one more thing I want to show you. Uh, is this, is computer? No. this company, and I can get you in touch with this guy. This guy is really, really, really smart. The company's called Green Wave. Nobody even thinks about this. Do you know what this is? Dirty electricity. Talk from our wall. So if you measure the studies, if electric magnetic fields can be a uh, medication, the FDA would ban it, would make it a class one, close to cocaine and every other drug. Yeah, nobody pays attention to it because it's not something we're eating, but your mitochondria are being stimulated by mm -hmm. dirty every electricity. Day. So the average home in the United States has between seven... 300 to 700 micro millivolts of dirty electricity being spit from the walls. We have six, which our mitochondria are sensitive to, right? You can't hear it nor feel it, but your mitochondria, we're electrical beats. Right. I mean, I just, 
told you, we have over per cell, which we have like 100 trillion cells, we have a, 100 to 2,000 mitochondria. We have more mitochondria than the energy, else. Of energy producers. We're the biggest energy producers in the universe, basically. Yeah. So we have 16 of these around the house. And before I have a, like, it's a sensor that you can measure the micro millivolts. It sounds horrible. It sounds like. It sounds horrible. And you see it, our house is like 550. Certain rooms were in the 600 so range. Just to, just to kind of give people the perspective of what we're talking about. Imagine being locked in a room for years on out and it's just this horrible like white noise you know when the tv goes out and goes <laughs> imagine being in a room for years on out and that being so loud that you can't hear yourself think i mean it's like chinese torture right you would go insane and this is what our mitochondria are being exposed to on a daily basis even while we sleep, because guess what? When you're sleeping, what do most people do? They put their phones where? Right next to you. Right yeah. next to you. And there's been studies where people, where they've put a phone inside of a cage with bees and the bees lose their ability to fly. They lose their compass system, which is called an electromagnetite uh, in their brain that helps them travel. Yeah. It, 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 it uh, intercedes with that electromagnetic Field. No, we have an epidemic with that, with bees pollination being so, disappearing. To kind of like tell, you know, this is our message to people. It's not just about medication. You know, this has to be a whole thing because mm -hmm. again, we're being exposed to this stuff. Like who thinks about that dirty electricity is coming out of every single one of the sockets in their home? Right. Nobody. That's so and when you talk about it to people, they're like, oh, you're just a guy in a tinfoil hat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. no, it, it, yeah, call me tinfoil, whatever you want. It freaking works. And when you die, I'm going to be at your funeral probably. So <laughs> and the reason why I got them is because the, the story about the sympathetic and parasympathetic is very real. I suffered from it big time where I became hyper vigilant to sleep. Like I hear like uh, anything and I'm already waking up and ready to fight. You know, I'm like, what the hell is that? I should be calm. I should be enjoying my sleep. Yet I couldn't get good sleep because I was always engaging it. So I had to do things to counter engage my parasympathetic like meditation like reducing electricity in my house because I'm hypersensitive to yeah. these things. And by using it, so I was telling what we were saying, my house was anywhere from 300 to 600, average homes go up to 700, even 800 micromillivolts. In order, I can get you in contact with the guy, so you can actually do a, a YouTube on this. In order to reduce the toxicity from dirty electricity coming from the house, the wall should be under 50. If I plug in the sensor right now, you would hear calm meaning I have reduced the exposure of dirty electricity being spit out from my house. That's not to mention the microwave, your phone, your TV, the Wi-Fi router. These no, things are real. Are real. are real. We just don't have enough long-term human studies to show how harmful they are to us mm -hmm. and how interrelated they are to the metabolization, metabolization of foods, nutrients, yeah. and the way our bodies are functioning. And the unfortunate truth, I don't know how it is in Europe, but Americans are always looking for that quick fix. Yeah. Oh, let me drink the Red Bull. I'm going to have the energy. Oh, let me drink the NyQuil to go to sleep. Like, it's always like if our bodies were appendages, so I can just go to a body shop and buy it, mm -hmm. which it doesn't work that way. So you have to see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. As I said, senescent cells, mitochondrial biogenesis, hermetic stress, and hypoxia. If you understand those and study them a little more towards longevity, you will master your- And wellness, how, take, and wellness takes a whole other meaning. How, how did we get to stuff like this? Mm -hmm. Through things, through those four, I promise you, you'll get to stuff like this. Researching, understanding that not everything is testosterone, not everything is a, an, a, a hormone a or quick, a, a quick, quick fix, you know? Yeah. Some things are natural and mm -hmm. that's what people have to go back to. Like I, you will never get the muscles that you have by just thinking about them or drinking anything or eating anything. You're going to get that water. by getting your ass to the gym and put putting effort and grit and intensity to this develop that muscle. Yeah. We That's have that right. in common, you know? Yeah. So, okay. so think of wellness as a whole body, whole being experience rather than just, you know, your muscles or your, or your you know, uh, trying yeah. to improve some kind of bodily function. It, it, yeah, it's very difficult. Uh, 
to, to, to get this message across to people. They all want a quick fix or just a tablet or medication or whatever. Like that, right? <laughs> way more than that. It doesn't work that way. So um, let us remind the viewers again how they can uh, contact you if necessary. Medical Health Institute right here. This is us. We're down in Miami, Florida. Um, we're happy to help you, which by the way, I want to thank you, Stephen, because we've had a lot of people reach out from you. Um, yeah, we're... that we can't necessarily help because they're in Europe, but we give them a lot of advice and a lot of guidance. And, it, you know, they, they write us back and they say, man, thank you guys so much. This kind of really helped me and really improve the quality of my life. And, you know, we do that. That's kind of our gift, right? That's the, that's the part that fulfills us the most is that's why we're here. We're here to help and, and, and hear people succeed and improve the quality of life. So when we get those stories, they're really, really, really great. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop, use the join button next to the subscribe. On mobile, use the join link in the description.